Well, a quiet evening weather-wise compared to what we dealt with around here yesterday when we had those heavy downpours move through and those strong winds that actually continued into the overnight. It has been a bit breezy out there today, but certainly the winds have not been as strong. And now that the sun has gone down, those winds are going to get lighter. In fact, we're already seeing winds between around 5 and 10 miles per hour. That's the way they will remain as we head on into the overnight. But as you can see, nice and quiet on our Monarch Place Skycam. No weather-related concerns if you are heading out for the evening. 34 here in Springfield, so it is chilly. The wind's right now out of the southwest at 5, so it makes it feel like it's around 30 degrees here in the Springfield area. 37 in Westfield, 36 Holyoke, 37 Northampton. Greenfield's coming in at 36, so temperatures mainly in the lower to middle 30s. Quite a different story from where we were just 24 hours ago. In fact, we're 31 degrees colder in North Adams, 23 degrees colder in Pittsfield, 25 degrees colder in Orange. And here in Springfield, we are 22 degrees colder than we were 24 hours ago when temperatures were in the upper 50s and even some lower 60s. But we're also not dealing with the strong winds. Winds right now between around 5 and 10 miles per hour coming out of the southwest. So as we take a look at your weather headlines, mostly clear and chilly tonight. We have sunshine coming our way as we start off the work week. Some clouds to start in the morning. Skies become mostly sunny late morning, early afternoon. And a stretch of dry and mild weather coming our way. In fact, Weather pattern is very quiet over the next week. Take a look at temperatures over the next couple of days. Upper 40s and lower 50s. Good amount of sunshine both Monday and Tuesday. I think a little bit more in the way of clouds work in on Wednesday, but we're still above normal. Temperatures in the upper 40s. Keep in mind the average high for this time of year is around 39. So as you can see, for much of the week, temperatures will be running a good 10 to, in some cases, almost 20 degrees above where we should be. And then as we get towards next weekend, that's when we start to get temperatures back closer to where we should be for this time of year with highs in the upper 30s and lower 40s. But we're also going to be dry. In fact, really, our next shot for precipitation doesn't come until the beginning of next weekend. Now, there's still questions. Are we talking about rain or snow? I think right now we're looking at more in the way of rain. But, of course, that's still a week away and a lot can happen. But in the meantime, enjoy the dry weather that is headed our way. In fact, take a look at the satellite and radar. All is quiet. The skies are clear and we'll see mostly clear skies as we head on into the overnight hours as well. So really no weather related concerns as we head through the next couple of days. In fact, you take a look at Futurecast shows nice and quiet conditions overnight tonight. Mostly clear skies heading into the overnight. Some clouds may work in heading towards early tomorrow morning. So we may see some clouds mixing in with that sunshine early. But by the afternoon, the skies will become mostly sunny. Temperatures tomorrow, upper 40s and lower 50s. And this dry weather pattern not going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, Tuesday looks like another day with a good amount of sunshine. Upper 40s, upper 40s on Wednesday. We'll get a bit more mild on Thursday with temperatures in the mid 50s. Still dry as we head towards Friday. That next chance for precipitation right now holding off to the beginning of next weekend. Behind that system, temperatures will be back in the 30s by Sunday. That's checking your forecast. Have a great evening. Matt, over to you.